Hey, hey, welcome to Time Model Talk Show with your girl, Miss Tanisha, baby. We are back with another episode straight from the Molly Boot Camp Handbook. I am super excited because this talk show has just given me such a delight to bring you aspiring models and those of you who are in the industry great information so that you can guess what I say, keep it on push and make your goals and dreams come true in this business. So hopefully I'm giving you some great and light information that you um, want to subscribe and continue watching our future episodes that I usually try to post every Tuesday just so you know okay now what we're gonna do today is we're going to go into a couple of different definitions that are similar but have slight changes in what the meanings are okay and one we're gonna start with audition slash castings so an audition and a casting, if you want to sum it up, it's like an interview, okay? It's not an interview like you're going for a nine to five job, but it's an interview for clients to book you for future work or jobs that they have already coming up for projects such as print, such as runway, um, even commercials and things of that nature. So that's what audition slash casting means. So it's when a model and or actor, okay, they go in person. Usually they go in person. However, with COVID, a lot of things are done online now. A lot of things are being done online. So you can submit videos, okay, huge right now. It's easier too because you can do it at the convenience of your own home. So with that being said, an audition and a casting, you submit yourself um, via video, and this is sometimes in person, you know, if a client requires that, but a lot of times it's in video and you're submitting this typically to the client, okay, a link of some sort that they provided to your agent to upload. And this is for you to get the potential job, including print work, television, film, um, et cetera. Now your video or your auditions can be, I don't know, anywhere from one to three minutes. Okay. They're usually pretty quick. They're usually pretty quick, even though the job or booking itself can be a, a lot longer. Now, when clients send this link to the agencies, it's not for you to share with other people, okay? It's not for you to try to get your friends or someone in your family on board and have them submit a tape. It's strictly for you to audition as the talent with that particular agency, sign with that particular agency that sent you on it. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is when it comes to castings and auditions, sometimes you don't always have to be in person or on a video. They can choose you straight from your por uh, your uh, portfolio pictures. So that's why clients um, look at agencies' websites because they can cast you just from that. Because especially if it's from a print job, they want a specific look. They already know how you photograph. And so they take that chance and they just book you right off of an agency website. And then you, um, I love those kind of bookings. They're direct bookings, okay? They're called direct bookings. That's an actual term. So I love when that happens. Now, if it's a runway video that you have to submit, make sure you're in a great shoe that you can walk in. Make sure you're in a straight, um, long hallway or an area that's going to give you enough length to be able to walk and turn and pivot for our runway castings and auditions. And a lot of times when it's on camera, you have to read scripts for acting. So make sure you practice your script, you read it a few times, and you know it before you submit your audition tape. Now, castings, auditions are very similar. Then we have what's called a go-see. This is also where clients are required to see the talent, okay, sometimes in person or um, on videos. Now. This is, um, they still look for um, a comp card a lot of times when you go on a go see or audition. And a casting for acting is a headshot or a resume. So know the difference. Models use portfolios and comp cards when they go on a physical in person audition or a go see or casting. Actors use an 8 by 10 acting headshot and resume. Very, very different materials, okay? But they're very needed as a professional. Now your portfolio size should be a nine by 12, not an eight by 10. That's for modeling, okay, for models. The other word is a callback, okay? Now, a callback is something that we may get into a little bit more later. So I'm just gonna talk to you again about the three different things that clients use, the terms when they are auditioning talent. You have an audition or a casting, a go see and then a callback. All right. I'm going to get into callbacks the next time. Okay. Bye. Thanks for tuning in and please subscribe if you felt like you learned something today.